Stretching across nine South American nations, the Amazon rainforest encompasses approximately 5.5 million square kilometers, nearly doubling the size of India. This vast ecosystem shelters 10% of all documented species worldwide and sustains approximately 30 million people representing over 350 distinct ethnic communities. Additionally, the Amazon serves as a crucial barrier against climate change, storing an estimated 200 billion tons of carbon, equivalent to approximately five years' worth of global carbon emissions from fossil fuel combustion. However, human activities are steadily dismantling it. 18% of the Amazon has already succumbed to destruction, prompting concerns among scientists that we may soon reach a critical threshold where the rainforest begins to degrade irreversibly, losing its capacity to function as a vital ecological system. What implications would such a scenario hold for people, animals, and the global ecosystem? Let's find out! As the term suggests, a rainforest is a mostly evergreen forest that gets large amounts of rainfall. Rainforests are distributed across every continent except Antarctica, spanning from the Amazon in South America to the Congo rainforest in Central Africa, and encompassing various rainforests in Southeast Asia and New Guinea. Despite occupying nearly 6% of the Earth's surface, they harbor over half of the planet's identified species. Rainforests can be categorized into two main types, temperate and tropical, with the Amazon standing as the largest tropical rainforest on Earth. The mechanism that enables rainforests to thrive lies in their self-sustaining nature. Tropical rainforests, characterized by their high temperatures and humidity, experience frequent and intense rainfall. This moisture is absorbed by plants and subsequently released into the atmosphere through evaporation and transpiration. Consequently, rainfall and humidity play integral roles in sustaining the rainforest ecosystem, which, in turn, contributes to maintaining a rainy and humid climate. Remarkably, rainforests can generate up to 75% of their own rainfall. However, the repercussions of deforestation pose a significant threat to rainforests worldwide. In the case of the Amazon, deforestation has already claimed 18% of its tree cover, with an additional 1% being lost approximately every three years. Major drivers of deforestation in the Amazon include logging, ranching, mining, and agriculture. Scientists express grave concerns over the potential tipping point the Amazon may reach, leading to irreversible drying. The mechanism is straightforward. Diminished tree density results in reduced transpiration. Once the tree cover falls below a critical threshold, the rainforest becomes unable to generate adequate rainfall to sustain itself. Within a relatively short span of 15 to 20 years, significant portions of the Amazon could transition from lush rainforest to a drier ecosystem with sparse tree coverage, a phenomenon termed dieback. This process would release substantial quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, exacerbating climate change. Moreover, it would entail the loss of biodiversity and vital ecosystem services such as pollination, water purification, and recreational opportunities, with far-reaching consequences extending thousands of kilometers away. This is because the Amazon's trees play a crucial role in generating moisture that is dispersed by winds across the Americas, potentially reaching as far as the Midwestern United States. The potential collapse of the Amazon could result in heightened frequency of droughts and decreased crop yields across the Western Hemisphere. These alterations could incur trillions of dollars in economic damage globally and may require centuries to rectify. The phenomenon of Amazon dieback exemplifies what scientists refer to as a climate tipping point, a minor alteration in the climate system with profound and enduring repercussions for the entire planet. In 2019, a group of climate scientists pinpointed nine critical tipping points within the climate system ranging from Amazon dieback to coral reef degradation to Arctic permafrost thawing. Crossing any of these thresholds would likely cause a rapid and irreversible acceleration of climate change, potentially triggering cascading effects that propagate through the interconnected system like falling dominoes. 
Regrettably, one tipping point looms dangerously close. Presently, about 99% of the world's freshwater is contained within the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica. It's imperative to recall that one of the foremost perils posed by climate change is the escalating sea levels, primarily driven by the melting of land and sea ice at polar regions. Notably, the western portion of Antarctica harbors sufficient ice to elevate global sea levels by 3.3 meters, or nearly 11 feet. Two glaciers in West Antarctica are of particular concern to scientists, Thwaites Glacier, the widest glacier globally, spanning an area equivalent to Great Britain and adjacent to it, Pine Island Glacier, which is only slightly smaller. Both of these glaciers are characterized by large expanses of ice floating atop the ocean surface, acting as crucial stabilizers to the ice sheet. However, as global temperatures rise, the fronts of these ice shelves are fracturing, accelerating the flow of ice into the ocean at unprecedented rates. Compounding this, both Thwaites and Pine Island glaciers rest on bedrock situated below sea level. As warm ocean water erodes the undersides of the ice shelves, it triggers glacial melting from beneath. Consequently, the grounding line, the point where the glacier's edge meets the bedrock, is pushed backward, leading to further ice displacement from land to water. Since 2017, Pine Island Glacier has retreated at a staggering rate of approximately 4.5 kilometers per year, nearly double the pace observed in 1992. Should both Thwaites and Pine Island glaciers undergo complete melting, the resultant increase in global sea levels could exceed one meter. The imperative to avert a total disintegration of West Antarctica necessitates urgent reductions in greenhouse gas emissions to mitigate global warming. The variation in winter temperatures between Western Europe and Eastern North America is a fascinating phenomenon, often attributed to ocean currents in the Atlantic. A prominent player in this dynamic is the Gulf Stream, which transports warm water from the Gulf of Mexico northward across the Atlantic toward Europe, where it imparts its heat to the atmosphere. The Gulf Stream operates within the broader framework of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, akin to a global ocean conveyor belt responsible for dispersing heat and energy worldwide. As water journeys northward, it undergoes cooling and increases in salinity due to evaporation, rendering it denser. This denser, colder water then descends deeper into the ocean near Iceland and Greenland, subsequently traveling southward to Antarctica and into the Indian and Pacific Oceans before resurfacing. This cyclical movement completes a circuitous route back to the Atlantic, a process that spans approximately 1,000 years. Scientists have uncovered alarming evidence indicating that the AMOC is experiencing a slowdown. Currently, it is approximately 15% weaker than its strength in the 1950s. Climate change exacerbates this issue significantly. It's essential to remember that cold salty water is denser and tends to sink, while warmer, less salty water rises. With global warming, glaciers are melting at an accelerated pace, and precipitation is on the rise. Increased rainfall and glacier melting contribute to reducing the ocean salinity. Consequently, the water becomes less capable of sinking, thereby slowing down the entire circulation process. The potential repercussions of AMOC disruption manifest as colder temperatures across much of the Northern Hemisphere, increased incidence of winter storms in Europe, profound alterations in rainfall patterns, and a half-meter rise in sea levels, alongside the myriad other impacts of climate change. Although the precise tipping point remains elusive, early indicators suggest that the AMOC may be teetering on the brink of collapse. Nonetheless, there remains a window of opportunity to avert this scenario, contingent upon keeping global warming below the critical threshold of 2 degrees Celsius. The common thread threading through these climate tipping points underscores the urgent imperative to act decisively to halt the trajectory of runaway climate change. Alarming forecasts from the UN project warming exceeding 3 degrees Celsius by 2100, yet the actions of world leaders thus far fall drastically short of what is necessary to avert this trajectory. In the Brazilian Amazon, 
Deforestation has surged under the leadership of President Jair Bolsonaro, who has implemented policies weakening environmental safeguards and promoting development in the region since assuming office in 2019. Brazil's deforestation rates have now reached their highest levels in over a decade. Despite recent climate commitments from affluent nations such as the US, Canada, Japan, and the UK, these pledges fall short of what is required to limit global warming to 2.4 degrees Celsius. Moreover, there has been a conspicuous lack of concrete policies to effectively achieve these targets. However, the urgency of the climate crisis cannot be overstated. With the planet continuing to warm, the likelihood of heat waves will only escalate in the coming decades. As wildfires, floods, hurricanes, and other climate-related disasters become more frequent and severe, the imperative to take action grows increasingly pressing. It is upon us to act decisively before it is too late.